What's up, everybody? Dylan Lee here, and uh, we've got our first edition of Fishhawk Friday. So what's Fishhawk Friday going to be? First and foremost, it's going to be a real estate show. So you can fully anticipate uh, on me talking about the housing market here in the Fishhawk Ranch area, housing stats, neighborhood updates, general stuff that uh, homeowners uh, want to know about what's going on here in Fishhawk Ranch, whether you live here or are looking to live here. I mean, let's be real. There's a reason why I moved to Fishhawk Ranch. It's a wonderful established community. You get great bang for the buck and the schools are phenomenal. So let's jump right into the housing stats. As you can see, we've got 33 um, active properties on the market right now. Another way to think of that is actually going to be the homes that haven't sold yet. Okay, so anytime you see uh, active, just think hasn't sold yet. But what about the homes that have sold? So just last week, we had eight homes that sold. Week before that, we had three. <laughs> and then uh, the week before that, we had 10. <laughs> Which is why here in Fishhawk Ranch, you know, we've got 1.1 months worth of inventory. Heck, the Tampa Bay area as a whole is two months worth of inventory. This is a hot place to be. And if you live here, you know that. So does that mean that if you place your home for sale that uh, uh, it's going to sell right away? No, not not really. Uh, there are some homes that, uh, you know, didn't sell from the first week or anything like that. And that's going to be totally, totally normal uh, here within uh, our MLS. The average day on market is about 50 days. You know, you can pretty much cut that in half here in Fishhawk Ranch. But what's going to be very important uh, is going to be pricing. If the home is priced right and priced appropriately, it's going to sell. Because pretty much every home here has the same thing. All right. Location is going to be fantastic. So if you're looking for a very niche type of location, then it could, you know, get a little dicey. But as a whole, you know, uh, homes within uh, Fishhawk Ranch here, they're going to have the similar, uh, similar location vibe. Amenities. We all got the same amenities pretty much. And so then really it just comes down to um, to the price. How well is it priced? Because long gone are the days where you can kind of look at comps and then price your home. Right now, if you are looking to, uh, to sell your house or um, looking to buy, the best way to do it is actually using um, competition-based pricing. That's looking at the other unsolds and seeing how your house uh, stacks up against those and then pricing it from there. Now, speaking of amenities, uh, if you live in the area or if you're just checking out this video for the first time, uh, if you don't know and now you know, the splash pad is working. Now, if it's open or not, I have no idea, uh, but I do know I was at Park Square the other day and I saw water shooting up from the splash pad, something I haven't seen in a long, long time. Listen, if you live here, you know. If you don't, now you're going to know. The splash pad... It, this doesn't really seem to work ever. There's always a part missing or it's got to get resurfaced or there's always something going on with the splash pad, which is tough because you've got some uh, awesome restaurants right there that, uh, you know, if you're an adult, allow you to drink outside while your kids run around the splash pad. We love it when it's open. Moving on, <laughs> we, uh, some community notes here. We had our um, community dark sale last week or yeah, this, uh, this past weekend. You know, I'll just be honest here. I didn't go to go out to anyone else's yard sale. I stayed in my neighborhood. Uh, there was too many cars out, so many people driving around. It was madness, you know, and I've got twin toddlers. I'm not taking them out in that. Uh, I'm guessing it was a huge success because um, I saw trucks and cars and vans just full of stuff. So obviously that stuff was purchased somewhere. But uh, it, was, it was interesting because usually my street is a pretty quiet street which is nice, but then the day of the yard sale, madness, just cars going up and down, up and down. With all that traffic, I just figured it'd be better to, to stay inside. So uh, uh, we were actually a hermits. I think we grilled up some barbecue. The pool was open at our house. So that just happened. And as boring as it sounds, uh, that's going to be it for the first edition of Fish Talk Friday. Uh, next week, I will be more organized and have some more stuff here for y'all. Uh, but I uh, hope you all are excited about this. I'm excited. And uh, if you do have any questions about Fishhawk Ranch, anything at all, my contact information is below. I'm also going to ask if you hit the uh, little subscribe button and the notification button. I think it's that bell. That would be greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.